All right, so doing the typical setup, um, this is what I was, some of my results on USD JPY starting 100,000 on the 2nd of October, which is, uh, let's see, this, that was, here is Friday. All this is Friday. That's Thursday. And that's the end of Wednesday. So it's like Wednesday. Wednesday, like midnight, just before midnight. Um, price entered one, uh, 46, four, five, nine was a buy. This one, I had to close it because I made a mistake. I hit oh, one. I said, oh, I'm not going to do that. I want to increase this. This is a, it's a larger account. So increase it to 032. Price at 489. Closed at, um, that was 70. That hit 70. See how these match. Boom, right? <clears throat> so I said, all right, so I put it in again. So I'm going to increase this thing is moving. Uh, I'm not going to get a lot of back and forth, so I increased it to 0.64. Um, triggered was 146752. Uh, and then I ended up closing it. This is a sell. Yeah, I ended up closing it um, down almost uh, 40 pips, but not 40 pips, but 30 something. Okay, I said hmm, that was quick, so I I put it in again, right? This time it was the buy. Buy was set for one forty six point five five six. Um, and then that one ended up going uh, five five six. That was forty two pips, right? It was happening so fast, man. It just kept setting. It was like trigger, trigger, trigger. So I started just grabbing it, right? Um, made a mistake. I was, oh, this one I had set two uh, together to buy and sell spread and everything normal. And um, I had to tend to an emergency. So I couldn't monitor this. Both of them ended up getting triggered. So by the time I came back seven hours later or whatever, I just came and closed it. These two were on the screen, one six eight three, right? And I closed that. Um, then I set a GBP JPY. <laughs> I said GBP JPY fell asleep, didn't have an alarm set or whatever. Woke up, these two were open. I had to close them, right? Then this one, I set this, and then it spiked to seventy pips on the first go. And that's kind of like what was happening up here. And it was 617. Right? Is that right? So. Uh, but anyway, so it's 1,276 in. So, uh, I'm going to close this. So it's a thousand two seventy six um in three days. And I can just keep repeating this over and over again, but I'm gonna do the same strategy setup. So it's gonna be USD JP, GBP JPY. Oh, GBP JPY both had triggered at the same time, so I'm not doing GBP JPY. I usually don't do that. Set those up, and they had triggered like at the same time or something. So I had to take that L. But these were great. I mean, it's, it was fun, man. Um, oh, and this is the one where I, I, I slept seven hours on or whatever at the end of the week. And I said, oh, let me just close it. So. Yep. So that's some of the results. All right. So what I intend on doing is to continue this. Uh, I want to do a, I'll say maybe, let's see if we can get FXF. Uh -huh. All right, so yeah, fail that one, pass through it. Let's see, I'm trying to find it's a new challenge. Um, Possibly, so I can keep it as cheap as possible, right? Get the hundred thousand. Yeah, I need to do that. 
do the hundred thousand, and then so I finished paying for my car repairs was thirty six hundred dollars thirty two cents. Yikes! Um, oh, she's messaging me while I'm. Jeez, fiance always messaging me while I'm trying to record. But any other time, she's uh, quiet. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see. Um, so I basically just very simple. This block marks my 30 pip block. Why is my computer being slow? This is a brand new computer. All right. Um, I use that as a guide and just place the number. I click it and then it immediately tells me the numbers on the side. And I just can hurry up, open up my trading, and plug the numbers right in. And I'll click it and then plug the numbers right in. I'll hit pending order. I'll do the buy stop, right? Top number will be like 148, 779. Then it'll be 100 pips, 700. Points seven a thousand points hundred pips. Uh, seven hundred points is seventy pips. Okay, and place it, and then do the same thing for the sell stop. Switch, you know, open up one, hit sell stop, change, put that number in. You know, it's really quick, really quick. And then you're in triggers. Um, now what I've seen, I'm going to continue through the month. Okay, because uh, so what I'm seeing is this USDJPY just going to forty, right? Um, going to 40, 35, 40, you know, I call it that 40 pit move, 40, 70 rule or the 40, 70 move or 40, 70 pattern. Um, but it's basically, you know, you're catching, you know, some kind of profit. Okay. I would rather take a 40 pit move right away and just go ahead and close it out rather than going through the full hedge waiting for it to turn back around trigger the, a larger bottom order like go through the buy and have like a larger sell order and and doing all that because that stuff for it to get 70 sometimes it can take up to two days so but what i can do is when it pops to 35 when it pops to 40 right i can just take that profit reset up right away and i can do this several times you know, so in make 1400, well, this is on a, this is on a hundred thousand, but you know, making 1200, making $1,400, um, inside of, in like th three days. Um, and you can, you know, you can make your hit your targets for the month. So I love doing that setup. I love doing this setup. Um, and I'm going to continue doing it through the month. So before I go to F, uh, F, uh, FXify, before I go there and set up a $100,000 uh, account, I'm going to continue going through this and watch how this does and um, continue it through there. And here's, here's what's so great about it. What's great is, is that, hey, if it pops or, you know, you missed the 70, I mean, the, you missed the move to 40 or you missed the move to 35, where well, you would have closed it, you still have your hedge. Okay. You still have your hedge. And you can continue doing your hedge, um, uh, whatever. So um, that's what I, that's what I like is the fact that even if it goes against you on one side, you can recover. You can turn it into profits. You don't have to take a loss. Like when uh, I was like asleep or whatever, and I didn't set the alarms, um, and both of them had triggered, I could have easily recovered. It would have taken a couple of days, right? to continue going through the hedging process, the recovery zone steps, it would have taken me um, some time. But I went ahead and said, you know what? That's all right. It's the weekend coming. It's already Friday. I mean, just, hey, just take the take the L, take the loss. And then come next week, I'll be doing it again. I'll be doing the pop, looking for, the, looking for a move to, you know, 35, 40 pip move. Uh, to come up on the first swipe on the first move up or down and take it and then reset again. 
and I can repeat that over and over again. And it's just, it's great. It's a, it's a great strategy. I think it's, I mean, it, it's, it's basically a scalper. It's basically your, your hedge kind of, you're hedging and then you're scalping it. You know what I mean? Hedging and scalping it. So, and I like that because I've, I've never been a scalper, but it kind of begins to move in that direction, seeing how USD JPY moves. And you see this move right here on the screen. Um, you see that this is that move right there. I had a buy right there. And I mean, it was so quick. That was 70 pips. I had it set for 70. It just happened. To have, thank God it wasn't set at 40. Right. But I had it set at 70. I said, I'm going to do the standard thing. Uh, and it just I said, oh, nice. So that's it. Um, make sure to hit the like button, guys. Um, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great weekend.